Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Microsoft Azure DDoS Protection Services. The biggest concern uh, these days would be the distributed denial of service that is DDoS attacks or some of the largest availability and the security concerns uh, currently customers are facing that they are moving their applications to the cloud then they are expecting some kind of DDoS attacks so they are uh, their concerns would be to protect from the DDoS protection so that's where the Microsoft uh, come up with this product called Azure DDoS protection um, there are uh, different plans within the DDoS like a standard plan and the basic plan I'm going to talk on that but uh, for now let's understand what exactly DDoS attack a DDoS attack attempts to exhaust an application resources and making that specific applications completely unavailable to uh, to the legitimate users. Uh, DDoS attacks can be targeted for any endpoint uh, which is publicly reachable through the internet. So Microsoft Azure DDoS protection combines uh, with the application designing best practices to provide the defense against your DDoS. That's why DDoS is uh, reliable and scalable and automatic. It's very simple and automatic. I'll, I'm going to talk on that in a while. It's fully automatic and it's a real time uh, tunneling. And the, you can, you know, monitor this entire things would happen automated way. So there are actually two uh, plans you have. One would be the basic, other one would be the standard. So basic uh, plan is nothing but automatically it will enable as part of your uh, as your platform. Or but the standard one you might have to buy it. Otherwise, it's 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 not gonna come for you. So now uh, let me show you. If you see here the documentation, um, we have the two plans as we discussed, like the basic and the standard and uh, you have the uh, normal differences uh, would come into the metrics and the reporting and uh, some kind of you know mitigations to be done then you would be you know going to the standard edition otherwise the normal uh, protection would be more than enough however you know if you just wanted to understand better um, in the ppt wise let's take one of the example called uh, value metric based attack so what would happen is don't think uh, think that there is nothing uh, provided here as as your ddos protection so if you don't have a ddos protection what would happen is, here is the normal attacker will try to send the very similar genuine kind of in you know, a traffic to the access to the applications that are in your uh, network so what would happen is he would gain the access or uh, he would try to reach the application so the system thinks that uh, is the genuine user and the load will increase let's say you have an application web application and uh, the normal user count is maybe a thousand uh, per hour and uh, this attacker what he does is he would send in maybe you know maybe within one hour maybe millions of uh, web pages traffic would be you no know, diverted so what would happen if think that if you have that server was not configured with the auto scaling your applications will go down definitely because it can't handle that kind of huge traffic maybe maybe your resources may or may not handle that but what if if you have the auto scaling was enabled so the resources never goes down so what would happen is it will scale up scale up scale up and then uh, at the end, you would be paying for the bill for those resources, but they are not a uh, genuine legitimate users, right? Uh, it, it's all about the DDoS attack. So, to identify this kind of uh, problems or attacks, DDoS, uh, as your DDoS protection would come into the uh, picture here you see here there are you know 60 plus different network layer attacks would be you know, automatically identified and it can uh, resolve all those problems so DDoS and uh, distributed DOS attacks are, are really really um, brilliant uh, nowadays and if you can imagine they could actually end up costing you quite a bit of money let's say you are in a victim in the scenario you maybe you know you would have been uh, built lot so that's where you know that's where you need to you know, think about it uh, these kind of you know uh, protections is mandatory uh, to fulfill the security side let's check for the uh, billing purpose and uh, the billing is very straightforward here it's gonna build based on the GB so the more you use less you are gonna pay actually you have three different billing uh, options you can choose uh, for example you have a single DDoS protection a standard plan that was enabled for single subscription but uh, within that single subscri subscription if you have a multiple units you're gonna build total monthly bill uh, 
and also plus 50 dollar that is the charges of uh, let's assume this 50 coming up from the data processing charges uh, and also the monthly subscription bill at uh, maybe you you got in a build of uh, maybe two thousand nine hundred and forty four dollars that plus this 50 would uh, come up as the extra charges for you similarly here are uh, different uh, mechan me different licensing models you have so you should be you know visiting this page to understand more about the licensing in terms of the uh, payment and uh, you could just go to the calculator here and uh, it's added now this should be added here and then you should be able to it's just added and you can check out here uh, based on the Azure DDoS protection plan and it's gonna uh, per resource it's gonna charge uh, additional uh, charges would be applied but includes uh, close to 100 resource is the base for the first 30 days would be the $2,943 opposed to that it would be added extra and also for example you have the maybe a 30 resources example it's gonna cost for the additional cost so each uh, resource would be charged close to $30 and uh, the data protected uh, the inflow and outflow you should be you know, charged based on that uh, in the terms of the gigabyte this is a pricing model you can you know have a look on it I hope this is useful for you uh, to better understand about the Azure DDoS protection uh, plans as we talked here there are two different plans standard and the basic these are the two different plans you have and uh, this is a quite common attack and you should be you know, securing your all kind of you know, applications it's not just the traffic you can also or you should be protected at the protocol level and resource level that's a key here uh, and that's the summary for understanding of the DDoS attacks